Hello everyone, welcome to Deptamine. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Laravel 12 on Windows 11. Okay, first of all, let's open your web browser and then search for Laravel and then go to laravel.com, which is official website. Go to documentation and then go to installation. Scroll down and over here, install PHP and Laravel installer. So you need to have PHP Composer, the Laravel installer, Node.js on your computer. Okay, let's install PHP first. In order to run PHP on Windows 11 easily, I highly recommend you install SAM. It is a software package that comes with PHP and MySQL as a database, MariaDB, I mean, and Apache server. Okay, you can click download over here and then, and then you can click on this one, which is, uh, PHP version 8.2.12 try to go with the latest version of PHP then SAM will be automatically downloaded over here you can close this one and wait until the download is done and then we are going to install SAM together okay after the download is done just go to the folder and then double click on the files and click yes to authorize the installation over here just click OK and then just click next and next and we are going to leave uh, the default folder at C drive and SAM folder just click next English and then next if the Apache pop up just click allow to run Apache Okay, and then just click on finish and the XAM software will automatically open. You can start Apache, which is PHP server over here, and you can start MySQL as well. And if it's asked you, do you want to allow public or private network to access this app? Just click on allow. And then you can open admin over here. It will show the web page, localhost and dashboard. And if you click on admin over here, it will redirect you to localhost PHP my admin, which is PHP my admin for MariaDB. You can handle or manage your database over here. For example, you can create a new database over here. Okay, you can stop and stop over here. Every time you open your computer and you want to use the software, you have to open XAM again. Just type XAM and control panel over here just click on it and you can start Apache and MySQL over here okay and if you go to uh, drive C over here and go to SAM you will see uh, the SAM folder which is have a lot of files over here and if you go to htdocs over here you can put your website over here you can put PHP files over here for example you if you want to create a new website you just create a new folder and new web name is whatever you want and go here and just put something inside here let me open this with Visual Studio Code and then let me create a new files over here for example index.php and if I type PHP over here tag and then I echo out hello PHP okay and I save if you go to web browser and you type localhost and then type new web and index.php let me check again okay hit enter it will show hello php over here you've successfully installed php on your computer all right the next software that we need is composer okay we want to install composer let's type composer and let's go to composer.org over here let's click on download and you can just download composer dash setup.exe over here okay and go to the folder sometimes if you cannot install the latest version of laravel you need to uninstall composer and reinstall the new composer version okay just double click on the files and install for all user and then click on yes and then click next 
it's going to ask you the current path of the PHP okay and then just click on add this PHP to your path just click next and then next and install and next and click on finish okay let's type cmd and run composer command over here you will see composer command over here and co the composer version that i've installed is 2.8.6 okay the next software that we have to install is node or bund in this case i will go with nodejs.org and then download the files and if you have this uh, Node.js on your computer, sometimes you have to check the version of Node.js or Composer to make sure that it can support the latest version of Laravel. Okay, double click on the files again and then just click next and then accept agreement and next and next, next, next and install and click on yes and click on finish you can check the version of node.js by going to command prompt again and then type node-v hit enter it will show you the current node.js that's running on your computer which is version 22.14.0 okay we have installed node.js on composer the next step we are going to install laravel in order to install Laravel, you need to run this command first. This command will download Laravel and put on your computer by using Composer. Let's copy this command. For example, if I go to this uh, this path, C drive, Sam, htdocs, and then go to htdocs over here. And I can open terminal over here. Uh, Try to use uh, command prompt, go to CD and C drive and then go to SAM and then go to htdocs. Okay, we are in this folder, paste the command over here. Actually, you can run this command everywhere, but I just want to run it on this path because I'm going to install Laravel inside this folder. And if you see this error, like, I will teach you how to solve it right now i don't think that we successfully install laravel installer on our computer because we have seen many many failures over here it's about zip extension so it tells us to solve it in php.ini so let's go to let's go to that files okay let's go to sam folder over here and then go to php folder and then scroll down to see php.ini which is this file let's right click and then let's go to more option and property you will see this one is ini is a configuration setting okay you can open these files with visual studio code or notepad okay let's open with notepad notepad press ctrl f and then search for zip and then click on down button over here you will see extension equals zip you can remove the semicolon over here okay and save the files and then you have to go back to sam and stop the files and stop my sql and restart it again okay then let's go back to command prompt and then let's try to remove the laravel installer first because we failed to install it so over here this command composer global require we change from require to remove okay and then we are going to install it again by using require command composer global require laravel dash installer hit enter you will see we has no error with extraction over here okay we are done install the laravel installer the next thing we are going to do is to create an application we can use this command laravel new example app okay laravel new then the name of the application 
example app you can name is whatever you want hit enter it's going to ask you which starter kit would you like to install you can pick none okay and then it's going to ask you the past uh, you can choose zero Laravel starter kits come with multiple choice. For example, React, View, and Laravel, and Live While. You can choose whatever you want, you know. It's depend on your project. Okay, then you can pick database. We have MariaDB over here. You can choose MariaDB. But I'm going with SQLite. And if we ask you, do you want to run npm install? You can type yes. So it will install all, all JavaScript packages on this project. Okay, the next step you just cd into the application. I mean, go to the application folder, and then you just run composer run dev, or you can open this with Visual Studio Code, and then go to terminal, no terminal, and over here I will choose command prompt instead of PowerShell. And then I can run this command composer run dev. Composer run dev. This command will run npm run dev and PHP artisan serve at the same time and run q uh, command as well. See, your application is running right now, it's running on this IP address and port number, which is port 8000 on localhost here is your application we've successfully installed laravel on our computer for example if i want to change something over here i can go to resources and then view and welcome page over here i can remove everything over here to show if we successfully install laravel for example i can put h1 and hello laravel save you will see hello laravel over here